you ensure that they're fast around that you leave your details, please. Um, our final speaker is Mick Barry, who's a member of the Socialist Party and the Solidarity TD for Cork North Central. Let's start with a question. What does the nurses' strike say about the society that we are living in? It says that the society and the system is a sick system. Just before Christmas, the government wrote a cheque for the junior bondholders at Anglo-Irish Bank for 270 million euro. That's the same amount of money that they say it would cost to pay the nurses. A figure that the nurses union says is an exaggeration, but even if it was true, the nurses would be given half the money back in taxes. I bet you that the Anglo bondholders won't be doing that. The National Children's Hospital, an overrun of 450 million euro. Where's all the money gone? Has it gone in increased pay to bricklayers? Has it gone in increased pay to electricians? My neck it has. One company alone, BAM, have put in for an extra 124 million euro. The government are prepared to increase the pay of some groups in society. There's one group I'm thinking of it's not a group that have to go out onto the streets in Sydney or go out onto the streets in London and hold up banners saying, give us a future, give us a reason to come home. No, this is a different group. The government say, we have a recruitment and a retention crisis for bank executives. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to review their pay because maybe the cap, the limit, is not high enough. <laughs> Do you know what the cap is? 500,000 euro every year. One law for the bank executives, another law for the nurses and midwives. That is capitalism, that is the system that we live under. One banner on the march today put it very well. Bondholders get the gold mine, nurses get the shaft. That's capitalism. <laughs> now we've heard graphically from speakers about the reality of capitalism, future of the planet, climate change. Donald Trump is the personification of capitalism and the rule of the 1%. Inequality, sexism, racism, the lot. Trump is involved in a little bit of an arm wrestle this morning, you might have seen it on the newspapers, with the richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos, the chief executive officer of Amazon. Bezos personal wealth 150 billion US dollars. The richest man in the world. That is more than it's more than the entire health budget of Ethiopia, a country of 105 million people. Nurses are due to go out on strike again on Tuesday. So between here and Tuesday, there will be another millionaire somewhere in the world who becomes a billionaire. Because there's now a millionaire becomes a billionaire every two days. But at the same time, the poorest 50% of the population of the entire world, their incomes went down last year, went down by 11%. The capitalist society we live under today is the most unequal society that the world has ever known. It's immoral and it has to be changed. Now can it be challenged and can it be changed? Key question. The example was given of the tens of thousands of school students who are striking on the issue of the climate. Before Christmas and into the new year, we saw the massive people power protests of the yellow vests in France forced the government to make huge concessions on the issue of the minimum wage. And by the way, some sections of the media tried to tar that movement and say that it was a racist movement. There were elements in it at the start, 
But that movement overwhelmingly was a movement that looked for radical change towards the left and uh, uh, um, challenged uh, uh, the rule of the 1%. But the nurses strike actually gives an even clearer demonstration of how society can be changed. Because the nurses strike is a workers movement and workers have an extra power that no, extra, uh, no other group in society quite has. Now it is not just the power of numbers. Power of numbers is important. By the way, just think of this. Someone said to me on a picket line, it was a very good illustration to me. When the, the PNA nurses come out next week, it'll bring the numbers on strike above the 40,000 mark. 40,000 in Ireland is the same per head of population as half a million workers.